Hi, and welcome to Merging Images Part 2, How to Dynamically Merge Images to PowerPoint Templates. This is part of our Learn How to Conga in 15 series of webinars. So this is a 15-minute webinar. We're going to go pretty quickly today, but you'll get all of the information you need. Thanks for joining us. My name is Shelley Houlihan, and I'm a training specialist here at Conga. I've been here about six years, and I used to be on our customer success team, which is part of our technical support team. Um, so I have a lot of good tips on how to do things with the product, and I'm excited to share with you today how to do that with images and PowerPoint templates. So let's get started. Um, when we're talking about merging images, they can be pictures, um, like the ones that you see on the slide now, which obviously are varied, but really pretty, and um, something more traditional like this. They could be photographs, paintings, whatever. They're also really good for icons, symbols, flow charts, process flows, um, product specs, etc. So really any kind of photograph, picture, image, however you want to think of it, can be merged into a PowerPoint template. Um, there's three simple steps that you're going to follow when you need to merge your image into a PowerPoint template. First off, you're going to store the image, and then you build a field in Salesforce to house the URL of the image. And then finally, you create either an image merge field or what we call a picture placeholder in your PowerPoint template. And we're going to cover all of these options in the next few minutes so you guys will be able to see everything. Okay, so storing the image, you want to use a PPTX type of um, PowerPoint template. That's just one of the requirements. Um, PPTX templates are the only ones that will wor work with Conga Composer Release 8. You also want to use a JPEG or PNG type of image, a JPG or PNG. And then you can either store the image in Salesforce or on a publicly accessible web server like Google Images, and I'll show you both of those options as well. Okay, so also um, when you're storing the image, just make sure that it's, ideally you want it sized to um, the size that you want it to appear in the template. I'll show you a couple of options for that, but ideally you'd want it sized kind of in the way that you want it to appear. So this is just a little reminder, put your image in your storage locker, that's storing the image. The second thing is building your field in Salesforce. And again, this is going to house the URL of the image. So you're saying this URL is either stored in Salesforce or on someplace like Google Images, again, a public accessible web server. Um, so you've stored it someplace and then you have to tell Salesforce where it's being stored. And eventually that information gets transferred to Conga as well. So we put the um, URL in the value of the field and then just like Composer can merge text or number values into a, a template, it goes for the same thing with images. Instead of showing the URL though, as you see it appears down here in the field as my example, we're going to render the image itself. So this will make a bit more sense I think when we go through the examples, but I think it's good to outline the steps beforehand. The other thing that's good about putting them into a field is that it allows for dynamic image merging, and that was part of the title of our webinar, dynamically, Im excuse me, dynamically merging images to PowerPoint templates. So this means that each record in Salesforce could have its own image. A really good example of this would be for products. You could have a product photo URL field, and you could have an, a picture of the product merge that into your PowerPoint template, and that way the customer or prospect could see what that product looks like. But because there's one, um, there's a field associated to the product, each different product would have a different photo URL value and allow for that dynamic merging. So depending on which product you um, select, then different photos will show up. Okay, finally, you're going to create what we call an image merge field or a picture placeholder in the PowerPoint template. So again, the image prefix instructs Composer to render the image. The picture placeholder is sort of like a holding place um, or sort of like a um, assembly zone for the image to be merged into. So you have your storage, 
you've stored your image in you know your storage locker basically in Salesforce or publicly available on the web and then you build the image field in Salesforce to house the URL of that photo or image and then finally with that image merge field or picture placeholder we can render the image on the PowerPoint template. So the example here is a signature, um, a photo of a signature, and then you can see John Hancock showed up at the end. So we're going to go into Salesforce now. I'm going to show you what this actually looks like. So let me get this PowerPoint out of the way. We're here in Salesforce and I want to show you just a baseline of what I'm talking about first. So on this account I have a button here called Account Brief and it will pull in not only information from the account itself but related information like contacts, opportunities, cases, etc. If I jump over to contacts you can see we have Tim Barr and John Bond and I have each of their um, records open in other tabs. Here's Tim Barr and you can see that I have a field called photo URL with a, a URL in it and then John Bond has the same thing with a different sort of URL. So if I go back to the account, let's go ahead and click the button and I just want to show you all how I'm going to take those photo URLs on each of the contact records and actually render them as images in this PowerPoint template. I'm using the preview button here on the Composer user interface. That's a really good trick if you don't want to go ahead and log your activities or send your email. It's just a way to merge the template as a sort of test without having to um, do all those other actions. Let me bring over this output file. So you can see we've got some standard account information, but I get into this contacts list and you can see I have Tim Barr's name and title and then his photo is showing up on the right hand side. And if I go to the next slide, you'll see the same thing for John Bond. The other way we can do this, so that's was done with an image merge field, and I'll show you all what that looks like a moment um, in the template. The other thing we can do is what's called a picture placeholder, and that's what this looks like here. So you can't really tell the difference other than size-wise when we're looking at the output file, but if we go look at the template, you'll be able to tell a little bit better. So let me close this, and I'll pull up our PowerPoint template. And let me bring that over to the right screen. Okay, so here is the contact table that might look diff or excuse me, like might look familiar from just a moment ago. We've got the table with traditional merge fields like you guys might be familiar with: first name, last name, title, and then here's what we really want to focus on: this field here, image colon photo URL. This is the image merge field, so putting the image colon at the beginning of it says instead of just showing the value of the field from Salesforce, which is again a website or a URL, put this prefix on it and render the image itself. So that's why we were seeing those photos in that table cell there. This is really good when you're merging images into a table in PowerPoint like we're doing here, and what it will do is just automatically adjust the size of the photo to fill the table cell. So that was pretty good in our output file if you remember, but they might have looked a little bit distorted. So another thing that you can do is use what's called a picture placeholder, which I have on the next slide. So picture placeholder. This is my picture placeholder, just this beta thing. And you notice that this beta did not show up in the output file. This was Tim or John's photo. How this works is there's something called alt text that you can get to for all images. So if you click on any sort of image and go to format, and then in this size area, click on this fly out button to open size and position. Let me scooch this over a little bit. And then on the menu over here on the left, if you go to alt text, you see the name of the merge field here, photo URL. And you still want the curly braces on either side because that indicates again that it is a merge field. So this is sort of behind the scenes telling Conga Composer, hey, we're just using this beta thing as a placeholder. What we actually want you to do is put the URL of this um, field in here and render it as an image. What I like about the picture placeholder is that you can size this exactly how you want. So if we want to make this really big, now the image will fill that particular spot. If we want to make it short and squatty, again, it will sort of adjust the image on the fly to fill that particular spot. 
So those are the two ways you can um, set up the template to merge the image in. In Salesforce, I showed you guys real quickly each of the contact records that had the photo URL already populated in it. That particular field is just a custom text field that I built. So we're on the contact record. I called it photo URL. The one thing I would say is do not use the word image in the name of this field. And that's simply because if you're using the image merge field like we saw here on this slide, if it's image colon and then the field name has image at the beginning, sometimes Conga Composer can get confused by the double usage of image. So that's why I used something like photo instead. Um, and then again, like I said, this is just a long text area to make sure that it can house a long URL in case you get one that's quite long. So here's Tim's photo URL. You can see this one is pretty short. It's just www.wmwd blah blah blah. And then you can see it's a JPEG at the end. This is one that I actually just Google imaged for. I just searched Tim Barr and I thought this was kind of a dapper looking guy. So I grabbed his image URL. You don't want to grab this big long Google search URL. Make sure that you're right clicking on the image itself and doing copy image URL. That's how I got that value for Tim's record. So that's one way you can store the image is just grab um, a Google image URL or any other publicly accessible web URL for your image. However, for John Bond, I actually had, let me click on this and remember this was John Bond. I actually had this image on my computer that I wanted to upload and merge into the template dynamically. So in that case, the easiest thing to do is to store that particular image on the Salesforce Documents tab. So you can see I've created a document, I called it Bond John. So these can be sorted kind of by last name alphabetically. The name of it doesn't matter at all. You can call them whatever you want. But if you're going to have a lot of images, I would consider using a standard naming convention so that you can find things easily. I also put them into a documents folder called contact photos so that all of them are in the same place. Then you just upload the image just like you would a document. And finally, just like we did with the Tim Barr photo, when you need to get the URL, again, you do not want to grab the Salesforce URL up here. You want to look at the image itself. So right click, copy image URL. You know that you've grabbed the correct URL. If you paste that into a new tab and it shows just the image, then you've done well. So this is the value that you would plug into your photo URL field. And then, so you've created your custom field to house the URL. You've put a value into that field for a couple of different records, in my case, Tim Barr and John Bond. And then finally, let's look at that template one more time. You're either creating an image merge field like we did here. Again, this works well in uh, tables. If you're going to just do it on a slide as more of a free form, then you want to go to the second option, which is the picture placeholder. And again, the nice thing about this is you can size it exactly like you like. So that's kind of a good size for a portrait sort of photo. And then you're just going to size and position on that photo, alt text, and putting in the name of your merge field from the template builder. So that's everything you need to know about merging images to PowerPoint. I really want to thank you for joining me today and doing the conga in 15 minutes with us. We have about one minute left, so if anyone has a question, please feel free to chat that in. Um, we have recorded this webinar, so it will be available on congasphere.com. And I would encourage you to check that out because we have a lot of great um, new resources there. If I go to the next slide here, um, congasphere.com again, that's our support website. And there's a great new area called Conga TV that has all of our instructional videos. You can also reach upcoming webinars as well as the recorded ones. And there's a great new improved search capability. So I really encourage you all to check that out. It doesn't look like we've got any questions. So I just want to thank you again for joining us and hope you have a great day. Let us know how it turns out when you merge images to PowerPoint. Thanks very much.